Yes. Welcome to Washington, D.C. I am going out to meet some of our special guests. What's life like being on TV every day? Well, it's about telling people's stories and connecting with you in so many powerful ways. This is our green room. Our green room is going to be home to a very special guest today. We are welcoming a VIP to the studio today. The second lady of the United States will be joining us today. Whenever that happens, a lot of things change. So this is my news director going right now to greet Secret Service. When they first moved to Washington, D.C., I had the opportunity to sit with her as they were starting to decorate their new home, the Naval Observatory, and we talked about just the excitement, the transition, moving into Washington, D.C. and stepping into that role as Vice President and Second Lady. I am in the nation's capital right now. I'm standing outside the Vice President's residence. This is where Vice President Mike Pence lives with his wife, Karen, and their family. And uh, they were so gracious to invite us into their home. This home is not open for public tours, so we are excited to be able to get a private tour and to get a, a couple moments to uh, sit down and talk with the Second Lady just about the transition, what life is like. And I'm going to take you inside and just kind of show you um, what this grand entrance looks like. We actually got a chance to see the Vice President before he left for work this morning, but this is the entryway um, into the foyer. It's great to have you here, Thank you so much for welcoming. Welcome to Washington, D.C. So this is the, the library, and you know, one of the special features about this house is that almost every room has a wood-burning fireplace. And so in the winter, it's wonderful to have fires going in all of these fireplaces. So downstairs, I guess we have one, two, three, four wood-burning fireplaces oh, wow. just on this floor. This is the sun room, and of course it's Oreo's favorite room as well. Um, you can always find her in that little <laughs> sunny spot. But, but this is a room that um, I think the Cheneys were the ones who made this uh, a year-round room. The Vice President has a lot of meetings here. We have a lot of chairs he pulls around, and with his staff briefings before the day begins, he'll start in here as well. This is actually my favorite room. As you can see, they host a lot of uh, dinners here with dignitaries but look at that chandelier. It is absolutely beautiful. Do you wake up some days and just say, wow? So it's like, I don't even really think it's hit us, Fanchon. I mean, I think, I keep thinking, okay, we're gonna go back to Indiana next week. Mrs. Pence used to be the first lady of Indiana before our former governor, Mike Pence, became the vice president. So we are welcoming her back home to Indiana. Um, there's a couple of questions that you may help me answer. Um, this will be where, obviously, Mrs. Pence comes through here. I am going out to meet some of our special guests. Her communication staff will come a little bit early, and actually her director of communications used to work here. So she is a former co-worker, so it will be nice to see her and kind of get to see her in her new role, her different role as the communications director for the second lady. So good to see you. 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 I was telling some of my friends, this is on tape again, um, that you used to work here. Yes. Now I, you are communications director for the second lady. Yes. What is that? Do you miss TV? Um, can I say honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> honestly is always the best policy. Um, but we miss I, you. I know, I mean, I miss the people. Um, and I definitely have a great appreciation for the media. Obviously, I'm still connected. Yes. And believe you all serve a very important purpose. So oh, I still love and appreciate all my media friends. <laughs> <laughs> she does an amazing job. And Espana, kind of tell us what you do for the second lady. So I'm her scheduler and personal aide, so I just kind of make sure she gets where she needs to be and is always prepared and keep everybody on time. <laughs> and you guys are always so organized. Like, I don't even know how you do that. It's working. We're fooling you. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all an act. This is behind the scenes. See, I even have my tennis shoes on. <laughs> and they're ready to run. So I'm going to take you in. You can follow us. It's going to be interesting to find out what's happening in the world of the second lady as it relates to not only the United States, but also we're glad to have you on the front couch. Yeah, it's so it's great to be back. Do you feel good being home? Oh my gosh, every time we land, the plane lands, we like start to relax. Yeah. It's great to be in Indiana. Awesome. All right, we're going to have a good conversation. Thank you. Can you get a quick picture? 
Mrs. Pence, thank you, first of all, for stopping by Fox 59. Welcome home. Thank you. It's it has to be here. I, it has to be nice to be home. How do you feel when you when you land in Indianapolis? You know, usually? when the plane lands, it's like we start to relax. It's like you yeah. just feel like you're home, and a lot of people were out at the airport to greet us tonight, and, and that was really nice. Well, we appreciate you spending the time with us. You know, I want to talk about a few things that our viewers at home may be interested in. Initially, mm -hmm. uh, your plan tonight was to spend some time at a reception supporting art therapy at Riley yes. Hospital. Now this is a program you started as First Lady. What's the focus tonight and where has this program gone? Well, it's really going to be exciting tonight because um, we rented out a, a gallery in downtown Indianapolis and the artwork that's on display will have been done by children who are working with art therapists at Riley Hospital. So it's it's going to be great to see their artwork up there. But, you know, an art therapist is a mental health professional. Like I'm an art teacher, I could not do what they do. So they don't just do arts and crafts, mm. but somehow they're able to bring out emotion from these kids, help them deal with anxiety levels and uh, give them a kind of a positive outlook while they're in the hospital and their work is absolutely amazing. So it's deeply therapeutic. It is and therapeutic. Not just for children. If there are other people maybe at home watching, who else mm -hmm. might this benefit? Uh, well, we do a lot of work with uh, our vets. So, or people who are having uh, high anxiety or if you've experienced some kind of trauma because the side of the brain that's injured with trauma is not the verbal side. And so a lot of times we can't talk about it. So our soldiers come home and they have PTSD and they can't express what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but the art therapy just kind of brings out these, these nightmares and these struggles that they're dealing with. And then they can face them and talk about them. You also take support for military spouses, not just around the country, but around the world. Your son, of course, is in the Marines. Mm -hmm. What is the message to some of our military families watching? Because I know that there is a lot of support out there that a lot of families may not know is available. That's true. And one of the places that we like to refer military spouses is Military One Source. Okay. It's kind of a one-stop shop, a place they can go if they need help with um, child care or special needs children or counseling. Uh, if they're struggling or have depression, they can get counseling free right away. Um, there is a lot of support for our yeah. spouses because people don't realize that the military spouses are really the home front heroes. Um, they're the ones who keep everything going when their loved one is deployed. And if we have military spouses who are, are not happy and are struggling, then our military yeah. service members are going to get out of the service. And we and appreciate so much, not just do. the sacrifices yes. servicemen and women make, but the sacrifices their families yeah. make. And, and we the have kids too. Yeah, yeah, the children. We have so many of those families in our community. Moving to Washington, <laughs> becoming second lady, and coming from Indiana with the Hoosier hospitality that we mm. are known for. The culture of Washington, D.C. is so different. Is there anything that has surprised you in making that transition? Mm. Well, you know, I think honestly, it's well, first of all, we just it was such a surprise to us that we were kind of thrust into that role. We yeah. thought we were going to be in Indiana forever. Um, so we miss Indiana a lot. Yeah. But we have found a lot of Hoosier hospitality actually in our nation's capital. Mm. Um, and it's um, I think for us, you know, the lack of privacy has probably been one, one of the hardest things, yeah. Fanchon. But one of the greatest things is to be at this this level, we feel like we're able to do so much to affect uh, helping people. Yeah. Um, and when we meet with these military spouses and we do the sister city exchanges, um, art therapy, these are ways that we can kind of elevate some causes that maybe people weren't that aware of. So. Uh, for us, that's been the fun part for me yeah. is when I actually get to sit down with some of these spouses. You know, um, their employment issue is probably the hardest one because they move yes. so frequently. Yeah. Um, but we were in San Antonio last week and it was so exciting to see uh, hiring our heroes uh, working to actually help military spouses get employment, employment. and yeah. to hear some of them say, you know, now I'm working in my field. It just was a sense of accomplishment yeah. and excitement for us. I'm getting a wrap. I want to ask you lastly, okay. anything different you're going to focus on is you're now settled in and moving into this part of the second half of this administration. Well, I think our big thrust right now is going to be military spouses and especially their employment issues. 
issues okay. because we've been talking, uh, we spent a year going all over the world listening to spouses. We've worked with a lot of different departments in the government. We've worked with a lot of different private companies. And even next week, we're getting ready to have a, a business kind of round table to see what businesses can do to come alongside okay. the spouses. So um, it, it'll be exciting. We'll, we'll keep, keep an eye on that and keep <laughs> us posted and we okay. will definitely look forward to it. Thank you so much okay. for stopping by and thank, thank you for you, serving Pam. our country. Thank you.